two. <laughs> I totally butchered the first intro. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. Like promised, I told y'all I was going to have a RC video up. We're going to take a look at Mr. Thunder RC's RC Max engine that he sent over here. I got this thing polished up, y'all. I mean, I went to town on this bad boy. I really got in all the fins and really buff this thing to a high luster. So uh, I'm on Dr. Phone. We're going to take a little, I got a couple tech tips about it. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look. And there it is. <clears throat> look at that bad boy, would you? Y'all seen the before. Here is the aftermath. Not that head. Is that thing awesome? Look at all them fins. I got them things buffed out. You guys are probably wondering, how in the world did you get in there? I used a dentist tongue scraper that you get at the, from the dentist. You know, every time you go get your teeth cleaned. Yeah. Well, I used that wrapped in a, a microfiber cloth. Buffed it all out. Mm -hmm. Went in the cracks. Then I added a, the, uh, whatchamacallit was floppy. So I put this inertia pull piece up on here. Yes, sir. Another 50 sit over here, right? Need the four zero up here. Yes, sir, son. All right, y'all. The tech tip I want to tell you about is a spark plug cap. You can buy these at Detroit Performance if you happen to bust yours up. Rocky broke his, and he broke this Thunder RC from a nasty impact. Y'all seen it on the last video. So you just simply unscrew this, and you screw on a new one. It's as simple as that. Pull the booty off, put it on the wire, thread it on till it stops, and you're done, son. If you look down in the bottom, you can see there's a... Get it to focus... You can see there's a clip down in there. See the clip? And that little clip right there goes down along the side of the threads of the spark plug, and that's what keeps it on nice and tight and right. I highly advise to put some dielectric grease on the threads of the spark plug that's used in the Taylor engine, which is the BMR7A Sun. You want to always use a resistor spark plug in your RCs because, and your gas RCs to, so that you can, uh, rule out any any radio interference you don't want that you don't want that interfering with the old radio and she's going haywire with one of these bad boys up in there my goodness one of these goes for a run whoo a runaway it won't be pretty son so yes sir it's just that simple to fix that detroit performance sells them easy fix all right, then, that's going to do it for this video, man. If y'all liked it, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and come on back because we're going to do some wrenching or something in the next video. Get the 38 in the wasp, wrap it, something, man. I need to rip something, y'all. So stay tuned. Come on back. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see you on the next one. Eastside RC is out.